Hello guys and welcome back to another continuation of the assembly joint video series inside of Autodesk Inventor. So like I mentioned previously, today we are going to be focusing on the slider joint. Now we're going to apply the slider joint to the bolt and to the base here, right? So we do have a slot in order for this bolt to, you know, kind of travel along that slot and maybe you can position the base to a certain distance. Now I'm just going to allow the user to input that distance. Again, I'm just gonna make sure that I do apply limits so that it doesn't go through the base here, right? So let's go ahead and begin. First things first, you are going to want to select the joint option over here on the top. Again, I usually like to select the joint type first. In this case, it's going to be the slider joint. And again, let's make our two selections, right? The first component that I want to select is the component that's gonna be moving into place. In this case, it's this bolt. Now, again, if we zoom in here, notice that you can pick a couple selections, right? So if I were to select the center of the boat, notice I select that, I select this edge, take a look at what's happening, right? So it automatically joints those two glyphs and essentially just creates that slider joint based off of that selection that I made. Now that may be what you want, that may not be what you want, right? In my case, it's not what I want. I want the bottom of this face to be flush with the bottom of that face, right? Or the top of the, the base here. So let's go ahead and reselect that, right? So my first selection is going to be the face here. Now, of course I can select the face or I can just select the edge itself. I'm gonna choose the edge. And notice that now it did create that joint appropriately, right? So we have another issue though. The animation was showing that the bolt can only travel in the x direction right what we want is the slider joint to be going in the y direction so no worries there let's go ahead and just align these two components right so the first part is going to be this side of the face notice that it's rotating right now it's looking for a face to align to in this case i want to align it to this flat face of the base so let's go ahead and select that Notice that the arrow of the glyph has changed now. We can select animate just to verify that it's going in the correct direction, and it is. So now we want to go ahead and apply limits to this component, right? So again, let's head over to the next tab. Notice that I can't do any angular constraints, but I can do a linear limit. Right, so starting at zero, that's fine. It's going to end at 1.44 right and it shows me exactly where that distance is going to be at. I'm okay with that so let's hit okay and now we get a nice slider joint between the bolt and the base all right so that's been working with the slider joint inside of Autodesk Inventor hope that helps 